Welcome back at 644. And right now, it doesn't look like much, but over the next couple of years, this construction site will transform right before our eyes. Yep, shops, restaurants, even a hospital. Where? Well, you've probably driven past this site in Overland Park. And that's where we find 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel near Antioch and 159th. And Brian, that's not even all of what's going up there, right? That is not, Patrick. Good morning, guys. Uh, the developers here, they want to bring in a museum as well as a $75 million arena. But there is one problem with that arena is that somebody else wants to bring a hockey team to the city as well in Wyandotte County instead of here in Johnson County. And that same project over there, they're, want, they're rolled up in a debate with Topeka over the same way to fund the project, Star Bonds. There's not going to be anything like it in, in Kansas City. Developers call it Blue Hawk. And they said, hey, you know, they're all huge fans of Blue Valley, and they're all huge fans of um, the Kansas Jayhawks. Price Brothers is hoping Blue Hawk will be a destination for young and old living in the expected 1,500 new homes in the Blue Valley area over the next three years. Retail, a movie theater, police and fire station, a new Shawnee Mission Hospital, Constantino's Market, and housing will all fit. But wait, there's more. Our goal is to create a regional draw for tourism and add to what Overland Park has done with soccer and become a more regional mecca for youth sports. Specifically hockey with a proposed 6,500 seat arena. But that attraction and a satellite campus of Hutchinson's Cosmosphere Education Center Museum may not lift off if Kansas lawmakers tweak the definition of who's eligible for star bonds. There, there is construction underway, but in order to get these nonprofit attractions, there will be uh, probably an element of public finance. Legislators in Topeka are facing off over star bonds and how it relates to American Royal, with some lawmakers like Governor Sam Brownback wanting to use the bonds to lure the Derby to Wyandotte County. The ultimate outcome could set precedent for Blue Hawk in Johnson County as well. And we believe with the, with the Cosmosphere and all of the entertainment um, components of this that it will be one of the, the, the most unique and uh, wonderful developments in the city. Now, Price Brothers says even without those two publicly funded elements of this development, the construction and everything else will still go on as planned, including that Constantino's Market, which starts early 2017. For now, reporting live in Overland Park, Brian Abel, 41 Action News Today.